summer is now officially, officially over as of September 22nd. I feel like there was so much adventure and happiness, but for some people, not so much. Today we will be taking a look at all the couples who called it quits over the summer. I'm your host Monique Arquitas and welcome back to Hollywood North Entertainment. Nick Jonas and Olivia Culpo are the first former couple on our list. The former pageant queen and singer had dated for close to two years before their split at the beginning of June. So yes, ladies, Nick Jonas is back on the market. Next, one of our Hollywood's longest running couples, Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck, have announced their plans to divorce. Just one day after celebrating their 10-year wedding anniversary, a statement was made to the public about the split. They are the parents to three children, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel. After years of trying to make it work, Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick have called an end to their relationship. News of the split came in early July after he was spotted reconnecting with an old girlfriend in the south of France. The couple had been dating for nine years and have had three children together. Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert were country music's power couple until their love song ended in divorce. For years, the tabloids have told us that this marriage was over, and unfortunately, this time, the headlines are true. And this next couple that you all know, Katy Perry and John Mayer, have broken up more times than Taylor Swift can write hit songs about her own breakups. John and Katy have called it quits once again this summer, only to have been spotted together this past weekend at Allison Williams' wedding. Does this mean they are back together, or are they still on break? Because we all know eventually they will come back to each other. The two that shocked me the most this summer were Zayn Malik and Perry Edwards. I mean, Zayn left One Direction to be with Perry and focus on building their future. After almost two years of being engaged, the couple is no more. Rumors were flying that Zayn supposedly ended things via phone call, and this all happened after they bought a house together in London. So confusing to all of us. And lastly, Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale. They split after 13 years of marriage. The lead singer of the bands No Doubt and Bush were married back in September 2002 and have since then had three boys. Though they have both filed for divorce, they have agreed to share joint custody and have promised to remain partners in parenthood. So sad how all these beautiful couples have ended things, but hey, maybe for you there's someone you saw who is now available. I mean, a girl can dream. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to the Bummer Summer episode of Hollywood North Entertainment. Once again, I'm Monique Arquitas. See you all next time.